Well, we were working on a high altitude balloon to send up to space during the solar eclipse. Well, this is like one of the, like, the biggest events of like our uh, of our age, and this is going to be like the like the only solar eclipse that we're going to 100 percent experience. Oh, it's just been something I've been interested in since a kid. I like to see planets, everything. It'd be pretty cool to witness. Like we haven't explored outer space very much before, like in science class or anything. So doing it ourselves and like getting footage of outer space is pretty cool. So we were looking at safe ways to view the eclipse and we were looking at uh, making camera obscuras. And then uh, that kind of led into a history of the camera discussion. And uh, we ended up making pinhole cameras and doing um, darkroom photography developing. It's, uh, it's really cool to, uh, to be able to look at the, the science aspect and also to, uh, to work in the visual arts as well as this monumental like natural phenomenon that's going to happen. So it's pretty cool. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm like super into like space, stuff like that, astronomy. This one is our pinhole camera. So basically it's just like a cardboard box um, with a lid. So when you open it up, um, you put a piece of paper here that this reacts to the light. And you have to do this in a dark room so you don't overexpose it. It'll be really, really, really cool. And I plan to try and use what, like my actual camera to take some pictures. So hopefully I'll be able to remember it for a long time. We used um, clay to make the earth and the moon and then we put them on a board. And so it, we used a micro bit to make it spin so that it showed just a little animation of the eclipse. Um, we used a flashlight as our sun to cast the shadow onto the earth that the moon created. Yeah, it's really cool to learn about it because it's a really rare thing that happens, not a lot, so it's cool to show other people how it works.